Chimpopo, this one's for you. This one's for you. You're gonna fire me? Why don't you fire me? You know what? I'm not mad. I'm not mad. You know, it was probably my fault. Actually, it was definitely, definitely my fault. Now, there were a couple things that led to me eventually being straight up broke again. You know? And honestly, you know, I'm not mad. I can't, I can't be mad about it. I can't be mad about it. Why don't you fire me? For those of you that don't know, Chipotle is all about speed and smiles. All right? Customer walk in. Hello. Customer walk out. Hope Chipotle brighten your day. You see, Chipotle always starts you off with tortillas. Once you get fast enough, you climb the ladder of success. I never got past the first step. A couple weeks go by, and in my mind, I thought I was an energizer bunny with the line. I'm scooping chicken, beans, rice, E. coli, what? But to my manager, I just wasn't fast enough. Mmm! He gonna downgrade me to dishes. See, instead of climbing the ladder of success, he gonna make me climb the ladder of shame. On top of that, I knew he didn't like me, cause he gave me three hours that week. On three different days! He got me coming in Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 1 to 2. And you know what? Touche, Mr. Manager. I'll take my L. I'll take my L. You see, when you work at Chipotle, dishes is the lowest that you can go. What it really means is that you're too slow for everything else, you're just gonna go scrub some dookie off some pans. It's just you and some other dude that are also fucked up. Y'all just look at each other all pissed off with the water splashing in your face and... Oh. Oh. Now, here's how I made dishes, my bitch. You know, I just made a deal with one of my coworkers. Hey, leave some chicken in the pans when you bring it back, all right? Well, he goes, Why I yawn? I will never break that rule. I give you a dollar. Whoa, you want some steak with that chicken? Because I got you. The things people do for a dollar. I suck your dick for a dollar, man. <laughs> so, me and Dishes became best friends. Here's how my manager killed my best friend. One Saturday, I was late to my one hour of work. I walk in, my manager says to me, You're late. I said to him, you know LA traffic have the city slow? And he just goes, stop right there, dishes. See, in his mind, this was a punishment. But to me, I didn't eat lunch, so I was extra ready. Well, he tells me, oh, you're not supposed to eat while doing dishes because it's a safety precaution. You know, next time I catch you do it, I'm gonna let you go. Are you f I hate dishes. <laughs> so I'm doing that shit for 45 minutes, and he finally calls me to the line. I dropped everything and ran to the line. Right now, everything was going good except that I'm hungry and angry. About 10 minutes go by when this rude, rude customer comes in and starts ordering his food. He gets whatever he wants. I start scooping like whoosh, whoosh, a whoosh. All of a sudden I hear, hey man, one of the sauces on the side, didn't you hear me? I looked at him, I closed my eyes and I took a deep breath. And I asked myself, self, what would Jesus do? So I said to him, oh, who the fuck you think you're talking to? And I threw his food in the trash can. Was that a little too aggressive? Maybe. Was it necessary? Yes. Needless to say, he got upset, called the manager, and I got fired on the spot. Mm. That's my Chipotle experience. And disclaimer, I'm not throwing any shade at Chipotle. I eat there all the time. I just sucked at the job. <laughs>